Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And on this channel, we do all things thrifting, vintage, creative projects, and more. And today we are gonna go through the sheet music that I got in the artist haul, the artist estate sale video. So that video came out last weekend. Um, I will link that um, above for you and I will link it below in the description. I wasn't able to show all these pieces um, in that video just because there's so much here. Um, I am a really, really a sucker for vintage sheet music that is very illustrative and the sale had just tons of them, just beautifully illustrated pieces, um, really my jam. Uh, and so I bundled all these and I offered them $10 for them and they said, sure. So this is $10 worth of really gorgeous sheet music and I got a heck of a deal, I can tell you that right now. And if you really like this video, just know I have other ephemera shares. I even have another $10 ephemera sheet music share that is just lovely. So be sure to check those out if these are interesting to you. And I really hope that by watching these ephemera shares, you find maybe a piece of ephemera that you really love. Um, maybe it's something that you can now go look for that you didn't know existed before. Um, it can help you search it online and just make you aware of what's out there. Now, I do wear vintage gloves because I think they're fun and I just do it for aesthetic reasons. So just know it has nothing to do with protecting what I'm doing. Um, you can definitely touch old sheet music, just wash your hands. So, um, but I think these are fun. So let's dig into it. Now, if this is not the most beautiful thing, right? Oh, oh my goodness. But what's hilarious is bless your little heart is like slightly an insult now. So I thought this was really interesting. I was kind of like, well, it, uh, it uh, is it an insult? Is it not? <laughs> so, um, but I really love that. I really love the way the couple is laid out. And I really love the contrast of the blue and yellow. I think that's really beautiful. And they mixed the blue and yellow and got green up there. So I think that's really lovely. And let's see, let's see if I can find a date in here. This one is a copyright of 1930. So really fun piece. Ugh, does this not just scream like Gatsby vibes everywhere? Oh my gosh, I love this. Ugh, putting on the Ritz. Don't you know? Dun, 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 I don't know the lyrics. Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> Oh, really, really cool. Really cool. Ugh. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Does it have a date in here? It just says international copyright reserved. So I'm not sure. But I really, I really love this because it's just such a classic song that we all know. And I love how this is a full color photo. I think that's really beautiful. Really pretty piece. Ugh. Could this get any better? Could this seriously get any better? I am uh, I am just swooning over this. I really love imagery that's beautiful women. So this is right up my jam. And I love like these nouveau touches. So beautiful. Let's see if I can see any copyrights. Um, so the copyright on this one is MCM XV. Lovely, lovely. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that awesome? Oh, this is great. I love the color contrasts. Um, I don't, um, I don't actually know, um, these. So it's exciting to see a piece from the movies. I think that's really neat. I haven't actually seen these movies, but I really like this. This is kind of different. So this isn't typically something that I get really excited about. I like seeing people and figures in sheet music, but you know, this is really beautiful, right? I love the contrast of the blue and the orange. Really pretty. All by myself. I don't even know if that's the same song as this. <laughs> 
but I love it. I think this is beautiful. Now they use contrast of orange and blue a lot um, because it just, it works really well. It really pops. I love that there's like this little doll on her stand there. That's really neat. And I mean, who doesn't need a tiny little cushion under their feet for two inches of extra lift to your feet? So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> People and places. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is really neat. So this is, um, I, I, this doesn't look to be sheet music. So how funny is that? I'm sorry, guys. This was mixed in. Um, I thought I grabbed all sheet music, but I obviously didn't. So kind of neat, huh? 1941. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Does that not just screen like old Hollywood and comedy, back and forth comedy? Oh, love that. Oh, how perfect is this for Christmas, right? Oh, this is just next level beautiful for Christmas. Um, this is MCMVI. Wow, just wow. And look at, look at what's in there. Gosh, that is... This, this one I, is special. I really, really love this. I'm excited to add this one to my collection. Um, I definitely want to put this one out for Christmas. It is so lovely. I love the muff and the mistletoe. And our hat is kind of interesting, right? Lovely. Look at that one. Ugh, I love the drama of a lover's embrace. This is just my type of thing. Isn't that beautiful? Ugh, what a great, great piece. How fun is this with the greens and the golds and the white? The hold up rag, well then. <laughs> Let's see, this one is MCM XII. Really, that's kind of fun. Ugh, this one just hugs at my heartstrings. Anyone else? I love the red hair. Oh, that is beautiful. It just kind of looks different from the other ones. I think it's the paper it's on. The paper is just kind of uh, more of a matte and less shiny. And this is MCMXX. Really lovely. And this one I really like because I like the letters. That's a really neat font, how it kind of has like these, these like stops in the curb. I think that's really interesting really pretty. And this is my jam. This is the type of sheet music that I just go gaga over and drool over. Look at that lily of the valley wisping up. Oh goodness, it just has all the Art Nouveau vibes. It reminds me of Mooka, the artist Mooka. Um, I, the bow art, the bow arts edition, um, I have some other sheet music by bow arts and they're always like really gorgeous. Um, I'm not seeing a copyright date. Oh, MCMVII on this copyright. Just lovely. Whew. There seemed to be like this trend of like putting the composers next to like a beautiful woman, woman image. Um, I'm not mad at it. I kind of love it. And I really love the colors going on here. The colors just feel very like homey and warm. Um, I even have a dress with these same floral colors on and I just love it. So that is beautiful. I love this so much. Look at that. Ooh, an Indian love song. That's really neat. Really beautiful. Love this. Lo Ugh. This is gorgeous, right? Can you just imagine that framed in a home with like Southwest stylings? Ooh. And if this isn't the most perfect piece of ephemera to frame for um, Valentine's Day, I don't really know what is because this is perfect. Love it so much. Let's see if we can find a copyright date on this one. MCMVI on this one really neat piece. I just, I feel like 
this is perfect for Valentine's Day, like beyond perfect. Like you can't ask for anything better than this. I love the contrast of this one. When I get you alone tonight, I love the contrast. Love the lady here. I'm a big sucker for the blue and orange. I think that's a really beautiful contrast. Um, I think it just pops really well and it's used very often in antique sheet music. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's from the Ziegfeld Follies. Oh, so neat. And what's interesting is somebody used like another magazine to mend it. I'm actually going to try some undo on that to see if I can't get that out of there so that I can get the whole illustration back. Um, I don't super, super duper care if the cover comes off from the rest of it, but I would love to get this off if that is at all possible. So I think I am going to try my shot to see if I can get that off because that stylized illustration here is just, this is just everything to me. This one's really pretty. Oh, look at that. Now you can tell that the hit of the color is slightly off on this. That's why some of the items are looking a little bit blurry. It's because the screen print is slightly misaligned. It's still a really stunning, beautiful piece. I think this one would look great framed. This is cool. So I haven't really seen one quite like this before. I really love how it looks kind of like Frank Lloyd Wright, like one of his windows. Love the flapper dress. Love her there. Really neat. Oh, and this, look at that. Speaking of Valentine's Day, oh my gosh. Obsessed. Love this so much. It's so beautiful. Ugh. There's, there's nothing else to say. It's just so good. But I really do love how it's off-centered. <laughs> this is just kind of funny. The hen cackle rag. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Oh, I just, that's just kind of funny. I get a kick out of that. How do they get that way? I, well, I don't know. That's a really interesting one. She has a really neat, like, coy look on her face. Really interesting. She really just kind of draws you in. I really love the punch of the black on this. This is really special. I'm a sucker for like night scenes. I love night scenes. I think they're so beautiful. I wish there was a moon in this scene. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Silver bell. I wonder if that's also kind of a, a play on words reference to the silver bells that would be um, on their traditional dancing um, wardrobes. I don't know. God, that's beautiful. Wow. Look how beautiful and regal they look. They look like royalty. Wow. I really love that. This one is just seen a lot of better days, but it's stunning. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I work eight hours. I sleep eight hours. That leaves uh, eight hours for love. <laughs> how funny is that? And oh my gosh, you guys, like, look at that. That just cracks me up that those were popular back in the day. Goodness. I hope you love my hat, sir. It's basically a whole bird. <laughs> love this. Oh, I love the moon. I'm a sucker for anything that has the moon in it. And her dress and hat are just exceptional. Now, this is just a cover. There is nothing else left. But this image is so great that I don't care in the least. How gorgeous. This really cracks me up. If you only had my disposition, my daddy came from Paris. <laughs> okay, so if I was only as snotty as you or something, that's so weird. But I do love the way she's drawn and I love the colors. I love that it's off-center. You don't see as many sheet music pieces as off-center and I really like this. Um, but yeah, the text is even kind of wavy. It's really kind of interesting. Really kind of interesting. This is really beautiful. Love this so much. This isn't so much the ones that I'm really gravitated to, but it does have the moon, all the specialized font. Really, really lovely piece. 
This is quite the weirdo, isn't it? This is another one of those with kind of like a matte finish. I don't even know what to say about this one. It's just kind of weird. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. It's got a very like whimsical, almost Dr. Seuss, Whovian bill kind of thing. I don't know. That's really neat. Look at, she's in the smoke. I have seen this motif a couple times in vintage ephemera, so it's really neat to see it pop up here. Also, this is so great that it's that orange and black. This is perfect for Halloween. I love this. This is really beautiful. Oh, I love seeing a beautiful woman of color. Oh, really pretty. And look at the composers. Oh, that's so exciting. I love this piece. This is so beautiful. You know, you just, we, there's not a lot of representation um, that I wouldn't say um, that ends up being very stereotypical in vintage ephemera. So I really love seeing this. This is beautiful. I'm absolutely going to cherish this piece. How lovely. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Speaking of representation, look at the beautiful outfit she has on. Wow. Oh my Lord. I'm freaking out. This is exceptional. Her outfit is something of dreams, right? Whew. This is a very weird layout. Having her cover her eyes and like, the mon the not monocles what are those called uh those binoculars it gives her like this bug eye look it almost looks steampunk really really neat this would be very very patriotic too great for decorating for like the fourth of july Ooh, and here we go this is another hollywood one really neat with that one. Ugh, oh, isn't she beautiful I love that she's like a young girl. That's really kind of neat. And I love the the big blow and the flowy hair. Really beautiful. I love the font. This one would be a really good one framed on a gallery wall, I think. I think we're heading towards the end here. Oh, look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness. This is stunning. Wow. I am in love with this. That is amazing. I love all the jewels on her. Wow, that is a gorgeous piece. And oh, what a beautiful baby, absolutely. Now I don't know if this is an inappropriate, um, what the song is about, so I don't know if it's inappropriate. Uh, oh, what a beautiful baby. Um, but really gorgeous, really gorgeous. Wow, that's I, her hat is just everything, right? And this is it. This is the last two here and we have golden hours. What a beautiful scene and look at all the colors used. That is a lot of colors on one piece of sheet music. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a lot for one illustration. That's really beautiful. And this is it. This is the last piece. Oof, I love this. It's almost kind of like fortune teller-y. I'm digging that. Ask the Rose. Just stunning, right? Ugh, what a good lot of sheet music. Can you believe it was only $10? Oh my goodness. So if you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around. Um, and remember, these all came from the artist estate, the artist hall. So if you didn't see that video, it will be linked below. And there is also a full playlist of all kinds of ephemera shares, kind of like this, um, if you're interested. And that's it, y'all. Stay creative. Bye!